Kate Winslet reunites with her Titanic director, James Cameron, in Avatar, Way of the Water. The actress tells people that the pair have kept in touch over the last 25 years and that she couldn't wait to collaborate again. We've totally kept in touch over the years. He's very good at Christmas and birthday presents. He always remembers, like he's amazing. So no, we really have kept in touch. Yeah, I was just super happy to jump in and very excited to be asked. And yeah, he called me and described the role and I just thought, my God, I mean, that would, that sounds amazing. Um, and my kids were like, oh my God, mum, you have to do it. I was like, well, obviously. I said, well, you know, they're gonna send the script. They were like, no, but it doesn't, just, it doesn't matter, just you have to do it. Extensive use of motion capture technology went into the production of the Avatar sequel, and Kate reveals how much she enjoyed the process. There are cameras rigged everywhere, all over the roof in every possible corner, as well as the cameras that you can see that are operated by camera people on tripods, much like this one here. And there's, you know, maybe between 15 and 20 of them, perhaps more and they're all just right round you in kind of a semicircle. So that's your kind of dance floor in a way. But then you have this dance floor, which is a gymnasium floor covered in lino, on which you are free to roam around and do whatever you want. So actually the experience of performing is enormously liberating because when your motion capture suit and your um, face scans are done in the morning and you are rommed into the system, you can then do whatever you want. So bizarrely, it's a much more pure form of acting than even conventional film acting. The Oscar winning star is at a place in her career where she appreciates serving as a mentor to young actors. I had some great role models, but I don't feel I ever had people consistently looking out for me. Whereas now, we are consistently looking out for the younger actors. So any of that you know, no, white noise in your head that says you shouldn't be here and you don't have the right and there's going to be someone better, forget it. It's you and we all are excited to see how, what you're going to do and it doesn't matter if you make mistakes because you learn from mistakes. So being an older actor who's able to share those little pieces of wisdom that I've hopefully gathered along the way, I'm really appreciating that moment because I feel like I've kind of earned the right to step into it. Kate is also grateful to have a healthy balance between her work and personal lives. Just getting to choose, you know, when I can switch off. I mean, after Mare, I took, after I wrapped Mare, I took something close to 16 solid months out completely. And it was absolutely amazing. So having that freedom of choice and opportunity. So, you know, I don't feel I'm missing out on life or key moments in certainly my younger child's life. My older two are much older now. Um, and I've been able to live through all of it with them and to have re really been the parent I've always wanted to be and hopefully continue to be. The mother of three admits her kids aren't huge fans of her films, but there is one project they can't get enough of. They don't really watch the things, I mean, they don't really watch them. I mean, Mia and Joe love Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, love, yeah. and love the soundtrack. So regularly, I'll hear from someone's bedroom, you know, Beck blasting. I'll be like, that's Eternal Sunshine. So it's, that's kind of amazing. And my, my kids and their friends will quote back to me and I'll be, they'll be like, do you know who said that? And I'll be like, no, who said that? And they'll be like, you did, Mom, it's Clementine in Eternal Sunshine. I'm like, oh my God, that amazing line. Yeah, so they kind of cling on to these things. That's really fun and certainly unexpected. For more on Kate Winslet, pick up this week's issue of People on Newsstands Friday.